Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Toronto Rock Athletic Center, where tonight we wrap up the MSL Classic as the first place Brooklyn Lacrosse Club takes on the Oakville Rock. Oakville Rock going back to the well here, wearing the reds despite a five-game losing streak. Four of those were in the red jerseys. Some people placing the blame on the red jerseys, others not. They wore the whites in the last game. Still didn't come up with a win. The Brooklyn Lacrosse Club, they have already wrapped up top spot. And they are looking to build on what has been a very successful month here for their club. Starting goaltenders tonight for Brooklyn. It looks like we've got Joel Watson. And for the Oakville Rock, it will be Craig Wendy. Eden Walsh backing up for the Oakville Rock tonight. And Riley Hutchcraft on the bench tonight for Brooklyn. Billy Holstrauser with that first ball for Oakville. Gets that return pass, gets doubled right away and squeezed against the boards. Ball pops loose on the carpet, loose again. Picked up there by Tanner Buck. Several new faces in the lineup tonight for the Oakville Rock and some we haven't seen in a while. Buck shot, whistles just wide, loose ball on the near side. Picked up there by Will Sheehan who lets a long shot go that's steered aside by Watson. Back the other way now will come Brad Lyons. Former draft pick of the Toronto Rock. He'll dish it and head off. Ty Thompson. Find some help off the bench. They'll move it around the perimeter now. Bushy with it, trying to make something happen. Fires the pass down low. Quick stick on the crease, turned aside there by Wendy. Keenan. Trying to strip that ball, knocks it on the carpet out of the stick of Sawyer Howell. Howell doesn't have it, and back now will come Jordy Jones-Smith. He'll slam on the brakes, leave it there for Matt Hosick as Brooklyn will finish up their change and get their O on the floor. Austin Murphy will swing it across the floor. He'll find Bushy off the bench. His shot goes off the shoulder of Wendy wide, and the Rock will take things back the other way. Alec Tamas. A mainstay in this Oakville Rock lineup throughout the month. Nate Ethier making his debut for the Oakville Rock. Dishes it there for Luke Dowick. Portelli. Tamas. The Oakville O will go to work. Tamas will swing it to the far side. Loose ball in the middle. Shot scores! Tanner Buck beats Joel Watson. And the Oakville Rock on their second shot of the game are on the board. Take another look at it. Tamas fires that pass across the floor in a hurry. It'll come back to Tamas. It actually goes off his glove. The loose ball picked up in the middle there by Tanner Buck. And he buries it by Watson. Takes advantage of a bit of a miscue there, really. And Oakville, 159 into this first quarter, has themselves a one goal lead. Bo Columbus handling the faceoff duties tonight for Brooklyn, but this one is going to. Be awarded to Oakville. Justin Scott will feed it for Eddie Q, who is making his first Oakville Rock appearance. That low shot is stopped by Watson, who drops down to make the save. The outlet will find its way to Jake Fox, who will run it up the floor. In transition, he finds Ryan Keenan off the bench. Keenan will settle things down. He's watched there by Adam Jay. Jay with a couple of whacks on the hands. Keenan trying to turn the ball back down low. Adam Jay gets that stick up high, no call. Bushy with it on the far side now, tried to push it to the middle. Nobody's got it, but now a second chance there. Billy Holstrauser tight roping the crease, trying to make sure he didn't pull, pull that ball back in, and now he'll go for a run up the floor for Oakville. Portelli will leave it there now for Dowick. Dowick finds Buck on the far side, swings it back near side for Portelli, who back pedals. Still trying to sort things out. A lot of guys playing together for the first time ever this evening. Dowick on for Portelli. His shot stopped by Watson. Loose ball in the corner, picked up by Buck. Fresh 30 for Oakville. Portelli down for Q. Q will walk it up. A little shake and bake there, trying to beat his man. Had Portelli there but elected to shoot and Watson was able to squeeze it and just keep it out. 
Played three and a half here in the first quarter. Oakville up one nothing. Ty Thompson will take the ball down low. Return pass across the floor and they score. Ty Thompson ended up right on top of Craig Wendy, but he was able to stay out of the crease. It's a good goal and we're all tied up at one. Another look at it here. Thompson will swing it for Riley. It'll go to the far side. And the pass back across, and that was very close to be increased violation, but the officials say it's a good goal, and we are tied up at one with 11.16 to go in quarter number one. Brooklyn ball off the faceoff. Peroni finds Bushi. He'll slam on the brakes. He'll swing it for Thompson, the most recent goal scorer. Back for Bushi. Back across the floor, and Wendy is able to come across and slam the door on Brady Kernan. Will Sheehan surveys the situation. He's got a man on him, leaves it there, turnover there as Matt Hosick first on that loose ball. He's in all alone shot and he misses and stepped in the crease. Q, trying to turn things up in a hurry. Q lost the ball going through there. Fires up a pass for Jake Fox. Throws a little fake, buys himself some time and space. Brooklyn will finish up their change, and Ryan Keenan's got it. Keenan, kick it out there for Austin Murphy. Now moves it along there for Kyle Waters. Nothing doing there. A loose ball going the way of the Oakville Rock, and back they come up the floor. Nate Ethier on that one. Ethier with the quick dish, and now. Portelli's got it. Off for Dowick. Back to Portelli. Looked like he was thinking about hitting a cutting tie Argent there. That shot from Justin Scott. Goes up and out of play as his stick was hit in the act of shooting. Peroni. On the run. Gets bodied up there by Dunkerley. Ball kicked out down in the corner now. Out for Keenan is pass across. Gets knocked down by a stick. Austin Murphy can't come up with it. Loose ball again now picked up this time. Dunkley was tripped up in the process there. Yokeville Rock will reset. Bouncer scores. Just like that, the Oakville Rock are able to answer back as Tanner Buck makes good on the bouncer to make it 2-1 Oakville. Take another look at this one and it ends up really being all Tanner Buck here as he just shows some incredible patience there before going right to the goal to bury that one. And make it two to one Oakville. Bushi in the middle for Riley and Wendy keeps that one out as it's trapped in his gear. Sawyer Howell moves it along for Sheehan. Leaves it there for Dowick. Long bouncer across the floor. Will find its way to Ty Argent. Argent was looking for Dowick. Loose ball in the corner. Scott's on it. Had it. Lost it. Still loose. Couple of whacks in there. Stops Scott from picking up the ball. Shot clock at three. And that'll do it. The 30 expires and it'll be Brooklyn ball. Oh. 
Austin Murphy on the far side. For Keenan, his shot was labeled for the top corner but just whistled over the bar. Murphy collects it, 10 seconds on the shot clock. Keenan, his pass didn't connect and a loose ball here is picked up again. Alec Tamas will flip it ahead just out of the reach of Dunkerley and now he'll have to give, give chase as Hossick is off the bench in a hurry. Couple of whacks there, Brad Lyons doing all the work there, playing the body and his teammates there to collect the loose ball. 7.15 to go in the first quarter. Two to one, the Oakville Rock lead it. Bushi, he'll get around the top and his shot right into the belly of Craig Wendy. Wendy, long pass ahead, this one could be trouble. Nate Ethier though, bodies up on Ty Thompson and Ethier almost the first guy to it, but he was just outnumbered. Jake Fox waves off the help. He'll dish it there for Kiernan. Kiernan gets it back. Flip for Keenan and that one goes off the pipe. Fresh 30. Fox has got it. Kicks it back out for Austin Murphy. Drills a pass down for Keenan. Throws one fake. Leans into his man. Comes across. He'll shoot and score. Ryan Keenan. Just toying with Nick Ellerton there a little bit on D. Ends up bringing him up high, gets that separation, shoots over top of everybody and finds some room down low past Craig Wendy. Taking another look at it here as we see, gets that little bit of a pick there from Kiernan that gave him just enough room to get the hands free and get that shot off. And we are tied up at two with 6.20 remaining in the first quarter. Bo Columbus for Brooklyn and Sawyer Howell for Oakville. We'll settle into the dot. Clean win there by Bo Columbus. He dishes off there for Tchaikovsky. He'll head off and Chris Bushy and the Brooklyn offense will go to work. Murphy's shot is stopped by Wendy. Billy Hostrauser is right there to pick it up and go for a little bit of a jog. Eddie Q for Portelli. Far side Buck. Q shot. Low, wide, off the boards and then off the roof. Justin Bragg will move it off for Ryan Keenan. Keenan finds Bushi coming late off the bench. Pass across, that doesn't go. And it looks like we had a crease violation perhaps there, but it is going to be an Oakville ball. Portelli has it, sees a little bit of daylight. He's gonna go for it. His low bouncer can't beat Watson. Brad Lyons. Goes for a run and he'll slow it down. Lyons cuts to the middle. His shot goes off the bar and stays out. Ty Thompson on the loose ball for Brooklyn. Thompson gets by Portelli and scores. Portelli caught on D. And not a great matchup for him against Ty Thompson. As we'll see, Ty Thompson looking for that ball. Sees that he's got perhaps a bit of a mismatch there. Gets to the net and puts it off Wendy and in. And Wendy, as you can see, looks to the heavens and would like that one back for sure. 4.43 to go in the first quarter. Brooklyn now has themselves a lead here up by one at 3-2. That ball thrown back into the Brooklyn end. 
as they'll make a change off the draw and they'll quickly get the ball up. Long pass finds its way to Justin Bragg. They'll find Keenan off the bench. Swing it for Murphy. Murphy, little pick and roll action there with Riley, but a crease violation against Brooklyn will give Oakville the ball back. Q. And we've got an eight second count against Oakville. And unfortunately, Taylor Caulfield, it looks like, did not put that ball down right away. So immediately, zero tolerance on that now. Josh Hiltz calls a delay of game, and Oakville will be shorthanded here, and Brooklyn will go to the power play, up by a goal with 4.12 to go in the first quarter. Chris Bushy looks like he'll run the top here. We should mention the other official tonight is Jeremy Bailey. Everybody gets a touch around the outside. Murphy starts to creep in. Murphy will shoot. Wendy will stop it. Wendy with the outlet pass to Nick Ellerton. A late addition tonight to the Oakville lineup. Tchaikovsky all over him. Turns him aside. Ellerton will flip it to the far side for Buck. Buck is watched by Fox and Peroni. Buck tried to get through the two defenders, had the ball stripped away, and now Peroni will just muck that ball, let the 30 expire, and Brooklyn will get set up again here on the power play. Bushi creeps in, he shoots, misses. Loose ball is there, and it's picked up by Dunkerley. They got numbers. Jay will just be the decoy, and Dunkerley's shot ends up right in the chest of Joel Watson. A shorthanded opportunity for not. Brooklyn will get this power play set up again. Less than 30 seconds left in their man advantage. Shot and a save, and Billy Holstrauser is there to pick up that loose ball. Tried to get it ahead for Adam Sugar Jay. Jay's got it now, leaves it for Holstrauser. He thought about it. He'll pull it out, and he'll bounce it there for Port Telly right at center. Holstrauser will stay in play here. The penalty expires. Oakville back to full strength as Caulfield steps out. There's a shot that ends up bouncing off the post from Justin Scott. Eddie Q with the ball for Oakville. Cross for Luke Dowick. Dowick has a look, finds Q. Q looking for some room to shoot, but fired a pass through the middle. Loose ball is picked up there by Ty Argent. Argent isn't going to have much to work with here with the shot clock winding down, but he gets a chance as he beat everybody out of the corner. In and a half. Just a little under that, left in the first quarter. Ty Thompson stops, finds the help off the bench. Kiernan, Thompson, shot, stopped there again by Wendy. We are coming up here on the final minute of play in the first quarter. Brooklyn is up 3-2. Eddie Q creeps in. Got that pass through, but unfortunately on the other end, Willie Sheehan was not able to catch it. Ball battle down there, and young Eddie Q gets right out of that. Keenan with a wicked shot there that's stopped by Wendy. Loose ball picked up by Hostrauser and he'll run it out of the Oakville end. Less than 30 seconds left in the quarter. 
Hostrauser still got it, looking for some help in a little bit of trouble, but he finds Tanner Buck. Buck met by Matt Hosick immediately off the Brooklyn bench. Ball's on the carpet. Nobody's got it just yet. Hosick's got it. Five seconds left in the quarter. Hosick may go for a run and try to get a shot away here, and he does, but he misses the mark. And that will draw the first quarter to a close with the Brooklyn Lacrosse Club up by a score of 3-2 over the Oakville Rock. We'll take a short break here on the JVI Sports Network and be back with quarter number two in a moment. Become a member of the Rock City Builders Club and never miss a moment of the Rock's inaugural season at Hamilton's First Ontario Centre. Rock City Builders Club members get the best seats at the absolute best price. The benefits are many and most notably include a three-year price lock guarantee and an exclusive Rock City Builders Club jersey for each and every seat you purchase. Visit torontorock.com and make the best decision of your summer when you purchase a Rock City Builders Club season membership. So what are you waiting for? Your seat in Rock City awaits. Back at the Toronto Rock Athletic Centre for the second quarter, the MSL Classic. This is the last game, week number five. It's the eighth game on the schedule for both Oakville and Brooklyn as they wrap up their respective summer 2021 seasons here. Brooklyn now out shooting Oakville 16-9. Murphy and Keenan exchange it. Keenan. Gets by his defender, his shot misses. Loose ball is picked up there by Nate Ethier. Ethier will do his thing and run the ball up the floor. Ethier in a little bit of trouble. Finds some help in Eddie Q off the bench. Back to the near side for Tanner Buck. Buck having a look, watch closely there by Hossick. Chases him around the net, kicks it out, and they score. Ty Argent. Takes advantage of seemingly everybody turned the other way almost when the ball went down behind the goal, but we're all tied up at three as we see Tanner Buck looking to flip it, but he ends up being forced down behind the cage. Then he does eventually flip it, and he finds Ty Argent, and he's got all kinds of time to rip that one and tie this game up at three. Bo Columbus continuing to do a pretty good job on the draws for Brooklyn. Curtis Hall has his stick knocked out of his hands and neither referee seems to want to call that. <laughs> that shot blocked by Dunkerley. Loose ball picked up by Riley. Pass into the middle and Craig Wendy got big to make that save. But it looks like we are going to have a holding penalty to Devin Dunkerley on the play, which will put Oakville shorthanded again. Jesus. 
Owen. Alec Tamas, actually the player off for Oakville, not Devin Dunkerley. Thanks to our stats crew here, keeping track of things for us. And yes, ball rolling over and the play was blown and then Ryan Keenan took a swipe at that ball and I believe that's gonna even everything up on the floor with the delay of game penalty going against Ryan Keenan. So as you hear the referees saying we'll be playing four on four, that'll be for a minute and 42 seconds. Unless we get any other shenanigans here. Tanner Buck with the ball. Drill it down for Luke Dowick. He's watched by Fox, pass into the middle and that was just redirected by Buck on goal as he couldn't make that catch. Fox has got it now on the run with a little bit of room. Cut off there by Caulfield, but Fox finds some room behind Wendy as he took to the air and put that one in the back of the cage. And Brooklyn has themselves a 4-3 lead with the four on four goal. A pretty effort there from Jake Fox when it looked like he had run out of time and space to make something happen. He ended up finding rope there, and as you can see, he absorbs the check from Kaufelt and then goes up it over top of Wendy, and Wendy may have thought he might have been in the crease there. Could have been close, but good goal, 4-3 Brooklyn. Columbus winning another draw for Brooklyn. Moving ahead there for Ty Thompson. Thompson watched by Hostrauser. We'll kick it out for Riley and onto the near side now for Bushi. Bushi. Thompson shot stopped by Wendy. Loose ball. Riley's the first to it and he's got it for Brooklyn as they've got a fresh 30. Thompson with it. Pauses. Drills a pass down for Bushi. He can't handle it. Still loose. Dunkerley can't come up with it either. Bushi batting it around. Can't grab the handle. Now he's got a little bit of time to pick it up. Still 12 seconds on the shot clock. Bushi, he'll rip one off the post. Loose ball picked up on the far side by Kiernan. And a fresh 30 again for Brooklyn here. Still playing four on four. Kiernan, watch there by Howell. Bushi onto the near side for Riley. Riley back for Bushi in the middle and he scores. Chris Bushi. A pretty give and go there, cuts the net, takes the pass and puts it in the back of the cage and Brooklyn has a 5-3 lead. As we take another look at this one, Bushi, Riley, and then Bushi just decides, I'm gonna cut to the net and I'm gonna score. 12-11 to go in quarter number two, shots are 20 to 10 for Brooklyn. Columbus, he's got to move it, and Peroni just beats the eight count. Peroni will leave it there for Austin Murphy. Murphy tried that dump pass inside to Kyle Waters, didn't work. Long pass down the floor. Portelli will eventually reel it in. Takes a bump, loses the ball. Ty Argent in there to give him some help, can't get it. Brad Lyons has it in front of the Oakville bench. He lost it. Now Lyons has got it back. Brad Lyons flips it and he'll take off. Keenan. Takes the shot, moves it for Murphy, back inside. Keenan's bouncer goes up and over the glass. 11.04 to go in the second quarter, Oakville ball. Nick Ellerton will jog it up for the Rock. The Oakville Rock with a win can move into a third place tie at three and five. There's a chance they score. Great finish there by Will Sheehan. Had the opportunity, took it, and converted. And that draws Oakville back to within one, trailing at five to four. We'll take another look at it again. Sheehan, this time he'll dish it, and he'll take a page out of 
Bushi's playbook to some degree, but sets that nice little pick on the back and then catch inside and a finish. Bo Columbus really taking things over here on the draws, wins another one. Here's a chance for Thompson go to the goal. Low bouncer stopped, another low shot stopped. And Dunkerley will run it ahead. Jay quick to the bench, Portelli off the bench. Here's a chance, Portelli shot stopped by Watson. Tchaikovsky with it for Brooklyn, finds Keenan. Keenan, watched there by Keaton Thompson. Murphy can't handle that pass. He's got to go out and retrieve it. Tchaikovsky across the floor. Keenan's quick stick misses wide. Five seconds on the shot clock. But Oakville is going to just boot it down into the corner and let the 30 expire. And Sawyer Howell will easily move the ball ahead and bounce it for Willie Sheehan. Dowick drops the ball in the corner. Picked up by Jordy Jones-Smith, knocked loose there, and it looks like Ty Argent walked through the crease there after he picked up the ball. Jake Fox up over mid floor. He has scored a beauty tonight. Maybe looking for more. Brooklyn up by a goal. Keenan. Swings it there for Fox. Fox back for Keenan, and that went off the top of his stick and up and out of play. And a little extra pushing and shoving between Chris Bushy and Alec Tamas as they were mixed up earlier in the quarter as well. Ethier off to Stephen Portelli, two former Halton Hills Junior B Bulldogs teammates in action there. Buck turns that one around with a bit of a twister from well out. Fresh 30 for Oakville. Justin Scott. Kick it out for Buck, who is met with a very stiff hit from Peroni. Didn't turn the ball over. Shot from Sheehan, misses wide. Loose ball on the near side. Justin Scott racing for it. Still lots of time on the 30 if Oakville can pull this out. They can't. Loose ball goes to Brooklyn. And the Brooklyn Lacrosse Club will bring it up the floor. Ty Thompson with it on the far side. Finds Riley. Murphy, they try to get the two end game going there, but Ethan Riggs hammered Murphy to the ground there. Hostrauser, handoff for Luke Dowick. Back for Dowick on the near side. He'll push it off for Argent. That pass didn't connect with Eddie Q. And back the other way comes Tchaikovsky. Argent shoulder to shoulder with them. But that ball gets rung off the post. Go all the way back to mid floor. And the Oakville Rock and Alec Tamas are there to pick it up. Tamas though looking for some help. He is gobbled up in a hurry. Quick pass ahead, finds Peroni, scores! A little bit of a twister and a lot of a bouncer. Beats Craig Wendy who wants a water break. As the Brooklyn Redmen go up 6-4, 7.25 to go here in the second quarter. And that, that was a real pretty goal. Great work by the Brooklyn D to force the turnover and then the pass ahead. Peroni in all alone, bounces it by Wendy. And it's 6-4 as Brooklyn up by two again. The Oakville Rock don't want to let Brooklyn 
Get too far ahead in this one, that's for sure. Oakville again playing with a bit of a short lineup tonight, playing one runner short. And like we said, a lot of new faces in the lineup or some guys who haven't played in a little while. Ball goes up and out of play and it is going to be Oakville ball. Nate Ethier, dish it there for Sheehan. Sheehan's in a lot of trouble right away. Peroni came up a little bit high with that check. Dowick, Portelli, his shot goes off. I think it was the back of Peroni and out of play. Woo. Portelli's got it again, floats it into the middle. A little too high for Sheehan, but he's got it now. Dowick with it, fresh 30. Tanner Buck. Buck. Working this ball, <laughs> we're down to six seconds on the shot. And Buck will just let one go wide. Host Trouser, watching his man, Keenan. Shot scores, that one just crept under the bar. And Kyle Waters has himself a goal to put Brooklyn up 7-4. Waters, the first overall pick in the most recent MSL draft, showing why he was selected there. That pass inside, and he's almost by the net in the corner, really. Still had a bit of an angle, though, to get things cooking. And it is 7-4 Brooklyn here with 6.03 to go in the second. Like we said, the Oakville Rock don't want to get chasing this game here this early. Bo Columbus with, yes, another faceoff win. Jakowski. Flip to the middle, just out of the reach of Jake Fox. Dunkerley can't come up with the loose ball. Dunkerley, he's got it now. He's got some room and some help and Q off the bench. Q dives, but he landed in the crease before he got that shot away. Q just wanted to make sure that Joel Watson was okay in the Brooklyn cage. Looks that way as he's back to his feet. Murphy with some room, shoots, and yeah, Wendy is able to keep that one out. Pass up ahead for Sawyer Howell. He'll run it ahead. Portelli, long bounce pass across the floor for Argent. Q, rips one for Argent. He's able to catch that one in some heavy traffic there. Dowick floats a pass inside and looked like Argent just ran out of room there and ended up in the crease. And with 4.59 to go in the second, I think we're gonna have another stoppage here as Joel Watson may have requested something. I think he might have an equipment issue. Twenty-six fourteen are the shots on goal in favor of the Brooklyn Lacrosse Club. So I mentioned that an Oakville Rock win would move them into a three-way tie for third at three and five. Those teams that they would be tied with would be Six Nations and the Owen Sound Lacrosse Club, who are already home and cooled at three and five. They've finished up their eight games. Just like everybody else except these two teams. Goaltenders now making their way back.
on the Oakville Rock bench tonight. We've just got Matt Sawyer and John Harrison. No Micah Kersey from what I can see. Teddy Cordingly and Tyler Quinnell taking care of the troops off the floor. Shot from Bushi. And Wendy stepped out and we've got another holding call as Jeremy Bailey has signaled the penalty. Looks like it's gonna be Keaton Thompson heading off for Oakville unless uh, anybody else wants to take it. He's just kind of looking around, but it looks like he is going to be the guilty culprit. Here we go, Brooklyn Power Play. Ryan Keenan will run things from up top. Chris Bushy with the ball off for Riley. Kiernan. Thompson, Keenan, Bushy tried to float it in that top right corner. Didn't work. Ellerton comes up with a loose ball. Pass ahead, finds Adam J. No help off the bench. It's going to be Adam J and Adam J alone. Adam J hangs on to that ball. And the Oakville Rock will go on the penalty kill. Justin Scott's got it. Scott goes to the goal, but he's turned aside by Watson. Peroni runs it up over mid floor, beats the eight count. Brooklyn will set up their power play again. Bit of a different look this time with Ty Thompson at the top. And no Bushi. Keenan couldn't handle that. Kiernan's got it, had the ball stripped away and that's going to be an over and back and a simultaneous 30 second shot clock violation. 3.30 to go in the second quarter, 45 seconds left in the Oakville penalty for holding to Keaton Thompson. Q, trying to work his way to the goal. Maybe a little bit of a hold there by Fox. Got away with it. Maybe another one there. Q with a long shot. Goes off the shin of Hasek. Had to love that. 2.59 to go in quarter two. 14 seconds left in the Brooklyn power play. Keenan, Murphy, Waters. Bushy. Keenan surveying, finds Bushy. He couldn't handle that pass. Bushy's uncharacteristically dropped a few balls like that here tonight. Heavy hit behind the play there from Bushy on Dunkerley. Ellerton down at the other end with the ball for Oakville. We are back to five on five across here. Scott with it, creeps towards the goal, gets swarmed. The dump back for Buck doesn't work. Three seconds on the shot clock. Portelli rips one right on goal. Loose ball is picked up right on top of the crease. Scott quickly on top of Jordy Jones Smith. Boisito, that one's out of play. 1.45 to go. Ty Argent. Oakville Rock looking for something here. Justin Scott tries a bit of a twister there that doesn't work. Sheehan. Nice little swim move up top. Gets that shot away down low. Right on goal. And it looks like we're now going to have a holding call going against Brooklyn, which will send Oakville to the power play with 119 to go in the second quarter. 28-17, the shots on goal in favor of Brooklyn. Brooklyn. 
Needless to say, Oakville needs one here. They would love one here before the end of the half. Dowick up top for Buck. He creeps in, down to the crease. A couple of fakes, Sheehan, his low shot scores! Willie Sheehan with goal number two. And the Oakville Rock are down by just two. That is a big power play goal and there's still lots of time to close the gap here with perhaps another one before the end of this first half. Take a look at the replay here and after a couple of fakes, Willie Sheehan just found something he liked and put it down low by Joel Watson. 1.10 to go in the first half. Oh, Columbus wins another draw. And the Brooklyn Redmen will get that now seemingly important possession right after the Oakville goal. Not let them try to gain any momentum here. They're inside the final minute. Murphy. Bushi. Bushi. Tried to find Tchaikovsky, did not work. It's going to roll over and back. And Dunkerley picks it up quickly and gives it there for Ellerton. Oakville on a bit of a slow change here. Not able to take advantage too quickly here. 20 seconds on the shot clock, 32 on the game clock. Ball taken away from Ellerton there by Hasek and Brooklyn will call a timeout with 26.3 on the clock. And essentially a full 30, but 30 will be off here with just a shade over 26 seconds left in the first half. Brooklyn has had quite a run here this month, a six and one record, looking to make it seven and one and finish things up here. Their only loss here, Brooklyn, was that 15-14 loss to Six Nations, which was an absolutely wild finish here on the red pad at the track. Brooklyn held, I believe, a 14-11 lead late, and Six Nations stormed back and scored a couple goals, I think, in the final minute to win the game. It was uh, maybe one of the most exciting games of the month, and right now it stands up as the only blemish on Brooklyn's record here at the MSL Classic. Kyle Waters will walk the ball up here. Goaltender is on the bench. Six on five for Brooklyn. Murphy brings it around the top. Fires it back for Bushi. He's got a step, but a nice check there from Bill Hostrauser. Takes that chance away. And the Oakville Rock, they get a power play goal with just over a minute to go in the first half. And they draw to within two trailing at seven to five at the break we ourselves will take a short break and we'll be back with the second half here at the toronto rock athletic center on the jvi sports network in a moment
Become a member of the Rock City Builders Club and never miss a moment of the Rock's inaugural season at Hamilton's First Ontario Centre. Rock City Builders Club members get the best seats at the absolute best price. The benefits are many and most notably include a three-year price lock guarantee and an exclusive Rock City Builders Club jersey for each and every seat you purchase. Visit torontorock.com and make the best decision of your summer when you purchase a Rock City Builders Club season membership. So what are you waiting for? Your seat in Rock City awaits. Welcome back to the MSL Classic 2021 here on the JVI Sports Network. I am Mike Hancock bringing you the call tonight. We've got a great one here. Heading for home here over the final 30. Brooklyn 7, Oakville 5. And we have a goaltending change in the Brooklyn cage as Riley Hutchcraft has taken over for Joel Watson as... These two, I believe, were scheduled to split the game tonight. And Hutchcraft will step in here now for the final 30. No change at the Oakville end as Craig Wendy is still in the cage and Aiden Walsh still on the bench for the Rock. Bo Columbus will settle in to take the draw against Tamas. Columbus has been dominating the faceoff circle and he continues through that, but Adam J buries him off the draw. And... It looks like referee Josh Hiltz didn't like the Adam J hit. I believe it looked like may have signaled a charge. We'll take another look at it. Bo Columbus, he's been doing this all night. Just pops it up, boop, into his stick. But then Adam J says, hello. Lays him out on the carpet, but he earns a deuce for it. And Oakville is shorthanded here to start off the second half. Austin Murphy. Ryan Keenan creeps in. Murphy trying to push off the back there of Dunkerley. Up top, Bushy wires a pass down to the crease. Doesn't connect with Kiernan. Bushy can't pick it up. Waters has got it now. Three seconds on the shot. Bushy will shoot, and Wat Wendy makes the save. Portelli bobbles it a little bit there. He's got it. Portelli was able to spend some time as a 22-year-old with the Oakville Buzz in the Junior A tournament earlier this month. Ball tossed off into the corner. Hutchcraft is there. Move it on for Matt Boissonneau. 50 seconds left in the Brooklyn power play. Bushi, Murphy. Back up top, Bushi down to the crease for Kiernan. On for Keenan. Keenan will shoot that one. Ends up going over the net as he was interfered with a little bit there. And. I think we have a crease violation called there. That ball did squeak past Wendy. Oakville ball. Caulfield across the floor for Tanner Buck. And we've got too many men being called against Oakville, I believe, here as they took just a bit too much making the, too much time sorry making that change and Josh Hiltz boom on it right away so this will give Brooklyn a five on three power play for just 16 seconds
I don't believe Rock head coach Matt Sawyer was overjoyed with that too many men call at this point in the game. Keenan creep in, find Thompson. He's got some room to walk out in front. Hangs onto the ball though after Hostrauser rides him out hard into the boards. Bushi scores. And now Billy Hostrauser and Ty Thompson are getting it into it. Hostrauser trying to get that cage off. Nobody can get either one of the other's cage off and Hiltz will step in there and Hostrauser didn't really look like he wanted it to be broken up. Hiltz got in there when neither guy could get the other's bucket off. And it looks like we may just have some offsetting minors here assessed to each player. With Brooklyn on the power play already. We'll see if this just evens out and still has him up. And we take another look at it. Bushi scores and Hostrauser had ridden Thompson out pretty hard into the boards earlier on in the play. And Billy Hostrauser's been... He's been looking for it a little bit here over the last couple of weeks, and I think he thought he found it. But as it turns out, just couldn't get her going. So we'll see how Josh Hiltz will sort this one out. Just two minutes up on the board for each gentleman. And it looks like Ty Thompson says, I'm gonna need my twig. Austin Murphy goes down to grab it for him. All the equipment has been returned. <laughs> and it will be a four on three power play for a minute 47 for Brooklyn. Jacobski will leave it on the floor there for Bushi. Brooklyn will finish up their change here with 17 seconds on the shot clock. Keenan's got it now. Moves it for Kiernan, back for Keenan. Keenan creeps in a little bit. Leaves it for Bushi there, back for Keenan, back for Bushi, his shot stopped by Wendy, that quick ball movement. And with every pass, Bushi was just stepping in a little bit more. And eventually he was right on top of the crease and had a great scoring chance. Adam J, Justin Scott, Oakville will try to kill off some time here. Scott, thought about shooting, less than 10 on the shot clock. Kicks it out there for Argent, who will wind it up from long distance. That'll miss the mark. And it will roll over and back. And that will give Brooklyn the ball here. 50 seconds left on their power play. Waters creeps in, shoots and scores. Picked a spot and buried it. Kyle Waters. Very efficient on that power play opportunity. And Brooklyn up 9-5 now after the Bushi goal. Followed by this beauty from the number one overall pick in this year's MSL draft, Kyle Waters. That's his second of the game and it is a 9-5 lead for Brooklyn here as we've only played three minutes and 10 seconds in the second half. So as a result of that power play goal, of course, we were playing four on four now. Bushi picks up the ball off the carpet. Swing it across for Keenan. Pass back inside. Bushi is gobbled up as he was also going through the crease. Touch that ball on the way through. And here's Adam J chugging it back the other way for Oakville. Sheehan gets run over going through the middle. But now he's got the ball back. Sheehan shoots and Riley Hutchcraft just kept that one out as it was dribbling towards the goal line. Brad Lyons with it. 
He'll stay in play, dishes it off there for Murphy. Now on for Riley. Finds Kiernan coming off the bench. Kiernan flips it back. Brad Lyons pauses with it. We'll give it back to Kiernan. Swings it to the far side. That shot stopped by Wendy. Loose ball into the corner. Caulfield bumped off it. Rolls back beyond the Oakville cage and Wendy is able to pick it up. Hostrauser. Seen him do this often. He's going to stay in play after running it up. Q. Over for Dowick. Dowick. He lets a shot go that's stopped by Hutchcraft. Second chance there. Hostrauser turned aside by Hutchcraft as well. And we are going to have a holding penalty coming up with 10 07 to go in the third quarter. And it is going to be Nick Tchaikovsky heading off for Brooklyn. Hilkville Rock again going to the power play here. They connected for a Will Sheehan goal at the end of the first half. And they could definitely use another one here just like they needed it at the time. Q, Buck, and Dowick chat things over. Scott and Sheehan also out on the power play here. No Portelli on the power play on this opportunity. Dowick's got it. Up top for Buck. Q. Sheehan creeps in. Back for Q. Pass far side. On for Buck. Down to the crease. Sheehan, no look. Back up to the top. Shot turned aside by Hutchcraft. Picked up by Q, dish for Sheehan. Sheehan steps around, shoots. Hutchcraft makes the save. Hutchcraft, long bomb ahead, finds Bushi off the bench, and Wendy with a spectacular kick save. Q with it up over half. 1.15 to go in the Oakville power play. Sheehan. Will come off the bench, so will Dowick. Oakfield power play gets set up here with 10 seconds left in the shot clock. Buck down to the crease, Sheehan, Q. Q steps in, drills it across. That pass didn't connect, loose ball's picked up by Peroni and now he'll go for a bit of a run. He's got Hossick streaking to the goal. He couldn't catch it with one hand on his stick and he goes through the crease and it will be Oakville ball. Q. Runs it ahead for Oakville. Hasek didn't give him much breathing room, but he was still able to get it up the floor. Portelli on the floor now on this power play. We'll work things from up top. Portelli creeps in. He'll shoot his bouncer stopped by Hutchcraft. Nice shot by Portelli. Hutchcraft had to be sharp to stop that one. Jody Jones-Smith runs it up over half to beat the eight count, and we'll dish it off there for Austin Murphy. Murphy. Not in a rush to really do anything here. Still 10 seconds left in the Brooklyn penalty. Bushi, watched by Tamas. Bushi, pushed off into the corner. One hand on his stick. Bushi gets back to the middle and Wendy squeezes that one and keeps it out. Bushi had two guys on his back, still got away that one-handed shot as he was falling to the ground. Incredible. Portelli bobbles that one, gets himself out of trouble though. Leave it there for Dowick. Portelli, he's got it back on the near side. Up for Sheehan, he's got some room to shoot. That one is stopped there by Hutchcraft again. Loose ball in the middle. Sheehan, here's a chance around the world. That one misses. Scott, bashed up against the boards. Fired across the floor for Dowick. Finds Sheehan, 15 on the shot. Portelli. Long shot from Scott and Hutchcraft. Kicks out the right foot to make that save. Great shot from well out. Seven minutes to go in the third quarter. Brooklyn up by four, 35-24 the shots on goal in favor of the Brooklyn Lacrosse Club. Kiernan, 
Found a bit of a lane, but then floated the ball wide of the mark, and it's going to roll over and back. Loose ball picked up by Holstraus for three on one with Oakville Rock. Dunkley will shoot and score. Devin Dunkley with the big smile after that goal. His first in major series lacrosse, and it couldn't have come at a better time for the Oakville Rock as they are now down by just three, trailing it nine to six. The quick restart here on the over and back. Oakville sent numbers up the floor. Billy Holstraus, her first one to the ball. Dunkerley on the jog, gets the dish, and beats Riley Hutchcraft for the goal. 9-6. Brooklyn leads it now. Oh, Columbus. Winning everything. Bushi. Near side, Ty Thompson. Nothing there for him. Bushi, Keenan, one-handed miss. Loose ball picked up there by Kaufelt, and Oakville will start the other way. That pass out of the reach of Ethier. Popped up in the air, and into the Brooklyn bench, out of the Oakville stick. It'll be Brooklyn ball. Fox slams on the brakes, dishes it off there for Kiernan. That big overhand shot was blocked. That big overhand shot missed. Nate Ethier had that loose ball, had it popped out of his stick there though. Justin Bragg popped it loose. FDA, he's got it this time, kicks it ahead. Should note Nate FDA, a very reliable loose ball guy throughout his junior B career with the Halton Hills Bulldogs. And got the call earlier today to suit up for Oakville. So he has not played throughout this month of August like some of his teammates here tonight have. That shot misses the mark. That shot beats the 30. Loose ball picked up by Dowick. Fresh 30 for the Oakville Rock. Dowick, long pass will find Portelli. Scott, Buck. Buck. Couldn't drag that one by Columbus. Now he's got loose ball, scores! Tanner Buck out of nowhere picked up that loose ball and Found some room down low, beating Hutchcraft. And don't look now, but the Oakville Rock are down by just a pair. We'll take another look at this. Loose ball on the carpet. Luke Dowick can't pick it up. Everybody trying to rake it out of there. But Tanner Buck just slips through there and quickly gets that shot away. Probably surprised Hutchcraft a little bit that Buck came out of that scrum with the ball. And the Oakville Rock are now down just 9-7. Columbus wins another draw. He's just winning them all. Murphy runs into a wall up top and then gets thrown to the ground by the big rig, Ethan Riggs. One of the first times we've really truly seen Ethan Riggs assert himself physically here tonight. Dowick, swing it off. Scott runs into a number of Brooklyn defenders. Portelli can't get that, Sheehan can't get it. Portelli's still battling, five seconds on the shot clock. Still trying to work his way towards the ball and not too happy that he wasn't able to come up with it, but he was outnumbered in that situation without a doubt. Keenan comes around the top, turns back, shot, and Wendy makes a great save. That one looked like it was labeled for the net. Long pass head finds its way into the stick of Tamas. Tamas with Ellerton. Ellerton shoots, and Hutchcraft has that one caught in his pad, but it stays out. Boys and O. 
will hit mid floor, dish it off for Thompson. Thompson will kick it off into the corner here. A less than three minutes to go in the third quarter. Bushi, no room there. Fires a pass across, dropped, and here's another chance. Billy Hostrauser on the run for Oakville. He's got a lane to the net. Hostrauser will shoot, and Hutchcraft turns him aside. Dunkerley with a second chance go. Hostrauser misses the net. Three glorious chances for the Oakville Rock. Two from Billy Hostrauser, one from Devin Dunkerley. But nobody can beat Riley Hutchcraft in the Brooklyn goal. 15 on the shot here for Brooklyn. Thompson will let a shot go that's stopped by Wendy. Wendy now will look up floor in a hurry. He'll find a man in Sawyer Howell. Howell slams on the brakes. He'll turn it out. 2.10 to go in the third quarter. Eddie Q's got it. Q, watched by Hasek. The righty ready matchup here. Q. Gets around Lions, gets a nice shot away, and Hutchcraft able to make that save as well as we're inside of two. Hasek will run it up the floor. Plays broken up there, back the other way comes Dunkerley. He's got Ellerton with him again, the dish. Ellerton now shoots, and Hutchcraft makes the save. Loose ball, Ellerton had it for a moment. Still loose down there. Oakville Rock need this ball, and they've got it. Kicked out to Ellerton. Swung for Hostrauser. He wants to go to the net, but he'll peel it out. 120 to go in the third quarter. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Dowick fakes the handoff there for Portelli. Dowick's got it on the far side. A little confusion on the floor. Pass in there for Argent. Argent having a tough time beating Hall. He'll kick it back out for Dowick. He's got time to shoot. His low shot is stopped there by Hutchcraft. Inside the final minute here of the third quarter. Long toss up ahead is too far for Bushi. Wendy, he'll fire it back just as quickly and find Eddie Q. 49 seconds on the game clock. 23 on the shot now. Q's pass interrupted there by Hasek. Knocked away, loose ball at mid-floor. Ends up right in the stick of Bushi who fires a wild pass up ahead. Looking for Josh Taguri. Taguri boots it back towards the Brooklyn bench. Fox picks it up, and now he's got a chance. Fox may try to go to the net here. Fox turned away by Kaufelt. Now we'll wait for some help to come on the floor. That pass doesn't connect. And we've got an over and back call with 18.7 on the clock. And we are going to see a timeout called here by the Oakville Rock. Eighteen point seven. There is tons of time left in this lacrosse game. Fifteen minutes, of course, left. With the fourth quarter still to come. However, this is a real big play. If Oakville can convert here and start off the fourth quarter down by just a goal, this would be a nice, tidy little comeback and a nice little run as well as Brooklyn did hold a 9-5 lead here just moments ago. 37-32 now the shots on goal in favor of Brooklyn as Oakville is caught up in that department a little bit. Josh Hiltz does his duty. Signal where the ball is going to start, and it is going to start to Hutchcraft's right in the stick of Eddie Q. Quickly moves it for Tanner Buck, who will let the clock start to run here. Ten seconds on the game clock. Buck's got it. Creeps in. On for Dowick. Buck sets a pick down there. Doesn't open too much there for Dowick, and the ball pops out of the stick of Scott, and Oakville is unable to get a shot on goal away before the buzzer goes to end the third quarter. 9-7 the score, Brooklyn leads Oakville, MSL Classic 2021. Quarter number four coming up here from the track in a moment. Become a member of the Rock City Builders Club and never miss a moment of the Rock's inaugural season at Hamilton's First Ontario Centre. 
Rock City Builders Club members get the best seats at the absolute best price. The benefits are many and most notably include a three-year price lock guarantee and an exclusive Rock City Builders Club jersey for each and every seat you purchase. Visit torontorock.com and make the best decision of your summer when you purchase a Rock City Builders Club season membership. So what are you waiting for? Your seat in Rock City awaits. It was a two goal difference at the half. It is a two goal difference as we begin the fourth quarter here between Brooklyn and Oakville. Nine, seven, Brooklyn leads it. They're up by five in the shots on goal category as we get started here, 37-32. Bo Columbus with another big face-off win. Making it look pretty easy on the draws tonight. Murphy across for Keenan, on for Kiernan. Bushi. Across the floor, finds the help, goes through Aiden Walsh and misses. And Aiden Walsh also just got the nod here earlier today to hop in goal. And turns out head coach Matt Sawyer is going to give him the opportunity here to play the fourth quarter for the Rock. Let's see what happens. Hutchcraft comes across to make a big save. Nice pick there. Ball's turned over. Eddie Q takes it away. Portelli, bounce over the near side for Scott. He's got a bit of room, pass it in the middle for Argent, doesn't pay off. Portelli's got it, misses the net, and the 30 will expire. We've played 90 seconds here in quarter number four. Bushi, give it there for Keenan. Moving on for Ty Thompson, back up top for Bushi. On for Waters. Waters, his shot kicked away by Walsh. And it's Dean Waters went through the crease, through that melee. So it's gonna be Oakville ball. Walsh already with a couple of nice stops here. That shot stopped and goes up and out of play, so it'll still be Oakville ball. Dowick. On it for the Rock. Long shot stopped there. Loose ball is picked up by Brad Lyons. His pass finds Tchaikovsky. Tchaikovsky takes a bit of a whack there from Dowick, but runs through it. Keenan steps in the pass. Murphy, and he tried to go back across the crease for Kiernan, but it didn't work. And no call there as Keenan was crumpled into the boards there from behind as the ball was loose. Murphy, little twister misses. Long shot, misses. Loose ball picked up by Scott as the 30 expires. Oakville down by two, trailing this one 9-7. Scott 
Was trying to lead on, lean on Jones Smith to get to the net. Couldn't do it, was turned away. Scott's got it. Sheehan kept well out by Hossett. Kick back for Portelli. He had to be sharp to get it across for Buck and not turn that ball over. Buck shot. Stop, loose in front, and Scott is turned away by Hutchcraft. Big stop, loose ball picked up by Portelli. Fresh 30, could be another chance here for Oakville to take advantage. Perhaps some tired defenders out there for Brooklyn. Argent. Cross for Q. Q, the pass in for Buck, and he scores! Hutchcraft got some of it, but not enough as Tanner Buck scores a big goal for Oakville, and it is 9-8 with 11.33 to go in the fourth quarter. Here come the Oakville Rock. Let's take another look at it on the replay. Ty Argent fires it across, and Eddie Q. Beautiful feed for Buck, and he just had Hutchcraft lean in the wrong way and was able to find a bit of room to put that one home. Ball turned over after the faceoff there. Dunkerley's got it. See Sheehan off the bench. Sheehan wants to go one on one and his shot stopped by Hutchcraft. We've seen some real confidence from the youngster, Willie Sheehan. Murphy goes to the net and scores. Beautiful play to twist that one back short side and beat Aiden Walsh in the Oakville goal. And it is 10-8 Brooklyn as they restore their two goal edge. Brooklyn able to move the ball up the floor quickly here. And just a gorgeous finish by Murphy as he faked far side, came back short side and beat Aiden Walsh. Columbus wins the draw again. Shot stopped by Walsh. Bushi tried to come back short side very, very much like the last goal that we just saw, but Walsh was sharp and made that save. Riggs will run the ball ahead for Oakville. Push it to the far side to Portelli. Sheehan for Dowick. Dowick into the middle. Scott, little toe drag there, gets to the middle, and Hutchcraft hung with that one all the way to keep it out. Pass ahead, finds Brad Lyons, jogging it up the floor for Brooklyn. Ten and a half to go here in the fourth quarter. Keenan surveys, finds Riley. Riley, a little bit of room into the middle. He'll shoot, and that one's knocked away by Ellerton, and Walsh uses that stick to scoop it up. Ellerton's got it. Ellerton spins away from a couple of checks, kicks it back out for Tanner Buck. Buck to the far side. We'll find Edward Q. Q. Using those feet to get free. Generated a great scoring chance, but Hutchcraft was there to slam the door again. Boisino can't quite come up with that ball. Battling for it. Sawyer Howell's got it. Howell lost it, got it back. Thompson, the free hand on the shoulder there, no call. Pass is tipped. Portelli, Sheehan. Oakville gets set up. Scott with it, well out. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Scott will creep in, he'll shoot. Hutchcraft makes the save, loose ball in his crease, picked up and sent up the floor. Columbus reels it in, will find Keenan off the bench and he scores. <laughs> Tough assignment there for the young keeper, Aiden Walsh. He didn't have much help and really had one of the best goal scorers in the game in right on top of them with nine minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. It's now 11-8 Brooklyn and the goaltenders will each head to their benches to grab a drink.
Nine minutes flat left on the clock. 11-8. Brooklyn leads it. 40-39 in favor of Brooklyn in the shots on goal department. And that has certainly evened out here as the game has played out. Something that hasn't changed is Columbus winning every draw. <laughs> that was one of the first chances he had really to go to the net on his own and have a good scoring chance, but he missed the mark. Luke Dowick with it. Will jog it to his right. With a little bit of room. No pass there for him. Buck, feet across, they score! Willie Sheehan, his third of the game. Not bad for number 12 here. We'll take another look at it. Dowick with the ball. Moved off there, pass from Buck across the floor, right on the money, and Sheehan able to cash in on the quick stick. And the Oakville Rock not going away in this one. We are 40-40 in shots on goal. Eight and a half minutes to go. Brooklyn 11, Oakville 9. Columbus wins the draw again. We'll run it right down in the corner and then dish it off for Ryan Keenan. Bushy comes over the top. His shot stopped there by Walsh. Nate Ethier's got it. He'll go for a nice run up the floor. Ethier takes a whack, dishes it off there for Justin Scott. Sheehan playing with a ton of confidence and three goals here. Portelli, he hasn't found the score sheet yet. Pass inside and Sheehan scores again. Number four for Willie Sheehan, paid the price but put the ball in the back of the cage and we have got ourselves a one goal game with 7.44 to go. Fourth goal of the game for Willie Sheehan. An incredible effort here tonight by the youngster. We'll take another look at it here. Portelli's got it. Sheehan rolls to the cage there and puts it far corner, beats Hutchcraft. No fear in Willie Sheehan. The Oakville Buzz have got themselves a good one in Will Sheehan. Our stats grew a little mixed up on that one. <laughs> of course, Will Sheehan very early in his junior A career. Will likely be a star in that league as he has been a star through the minor ranks. Aiden Walsh makes that save, looks up the floor, right into the stick of Nick Ellerton. Ellerton gets waved towards the goal, and that shot is stopped by Hutchcraft. And again, it looked like that one might have eyes. Ellerton's got it. Oakville's got a fresh 30. Tanner Buck. Flip it off for Portelli. Q. Buck. His shot blocked. Deflected wide. Ty Argent battling to try to get that loose ball. Five seconds on the shot clock. Buck's done some damage here late in the 30. Earlier in this game, can't come up with it this time, and it's Brooklyn ball. 6.30 to go in the fourth quarter. Fox bouncer for Keenan. On for Dylan Riley. Riley with some room. Wires one wide of the mark. Hayden Walsh just squared up nicely there. Didn't have much room to shoot at. Sawyer Howell will jog it ahead. Dowick on to the near side for Scott. Scott pushed way up. Finds Q, little dump there for Portelli. Back across the floor, couldn't find Scott again. And the 30 expires as Scott will roll it back down the floor. Picked up by Brooklyn. 
42-42, shots on goal as this one has played out. Everything has almost evened out here. Thompson, Kiernan. Kiernan with a bit of room will dish it off and it's picked off there by Tamas. Tamas has got Hostrauser and Ellerton running with him. And a quick transition defense there from Justin Bragg. Cut off the path there for Alec Tamas. 15 seconds on the shot clock. A slow bouncer will eventually find its way to Portelli. Sheehan has a look, shoots, and this one is stopped by Hutchcraft. He couldn't sink. Number five, turnover. Argent with a chance looking for Portelli. Couldn't connect. Loose ball. Nothing there for Oakville again, and Brooklyn will run it up the floor here as we are inside of five minutes to play in the fourth quarter. A one-goal game, Brooklyn and Oakville. We've been treated to a great one here tonight to wrap up the MSL Classic 2021. Loose ball is picked up. Nice takeaway there. Taylor Coffelt with the ball, trying to spin away from that check. In all kinds of trouble as Taguri is all over him. That one is fired towards the Oakville bench and reeled in by Eddie Q. Q passes to the near side. Dowick, low shot stopped by Hutchcraft. Loose ball picked up by Taguri. His pass doesn't find anybody taken away by Dunkerley. Dunkerley for Dowick. As we are coming up on four minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter. 23 on the shot, Dowick with the ball. Dowick will roll to the middle. His bouncer misses off the glass high. And Eddie Q's got it. Q will creep in, a little fake. Push it to the near side. Justin Scott has it. He'll move to the middle. Nothing there for him. He'll move it for Portelli. Portelli looking to go to the net. He's got to get a shot away, and that one misses the mark, and the shot clock will expire as Boissonneau picks up the ball for Brooklyn and will run it up over mid-floor. Three and a half to go in the fourth quarter. Boissonneau will move it off into the corner for Keenan. Keenan on for Waters, on for Bushi. Bushi out for Murphy. His shot, short side misses, and this one is going to... Not roll over and back, but they're going to turn it over. Adam J with the ball on the run, looking to the bench. Second man off the bench is Buck. But he'll come back to his side, and Jay's long shot is turned away. Second opportunity, Jay loses a stick on the way through, trying to boot it towards Buck. And with that ball loose and the little push on the back, Jay goes down, and it is Oakville ball here. Less than three, fresh 30 for Oakville. Buck shoots and scores! Oh, what a shot from Tanner Buck. Just spun that one around. A long distance twister, we'll say. As Oakville, they were looking for something, but we see, and that is just a beautiful shot from Tanner Buck. And guess what? We're all tied up. 11-11 here with 2.48 to go. And the Oakville Rock actually holding a 45-42 edge and shots on goal now. They won't go away. And we're all tied up here with 2.48. As the Oakville Rock, we should remember, they started this thing 2-0 and have lost five straight. And now sit at 2-5 and and are hoping to end off this MSL Classic 2021 on a winning note. That pass out of the reach of Q. Hasek, he's there to pick it up for Brooklyn. Hasek will hit mid floor. He'll dish it and head off. Fox on for Riley. Riley. Keenan. Keenan looking for some room. That's taken away by Hostrauser. Pass down low for Riley. Trying to use his body, that pass across. Aiden Walsh comes up with a big save. Nate Ethier will run the ball up the floor for Oakville. Dowick, the bouncer for Willie Sheehan. Sheehan just missed that return pass from Q. He's on that loose ball though. Sheehan stepped in the crease on the way through and that will be Brooklyn ball here. 145 to go in the fourth quarter, all tied up, 11-11. Kiernan. 
His pass looking for Bushi out of range there. And here's a chance now in transition, perhaps. Portelli, first guy off the bench. Dunkley doesn't find him. Hits the second man and Buck, and he sends that one wild high and over the net. Portelli is there to pick up that loose ball. Still 15 seconds on the shot clock. A minute 12 on the game clock. Buck, he's got it on the near side now. Buck, double teamed. Argent, flip inside. That one's picked off and back the other way now come Brooklyn. Hasek on the run. Watched there by Willie Sheehan. Pass off the bench. A big save by Aiden Walsh. Turned aside Ryan Keenan. Huge save by Walsh. Hostrauser's got it. We're at 45 seconds on the game, game clock. Ball's turned over, loose on the floor. Nobody can grab, back the other way comes Brooklyn. Fox with a chance. Finds Thompson off the bench, he scores! Ty Thompson puts it in with 34.3 on the clock. And Aiden Walsh got a piece of it in as it just rolled off his shoulder and into the goal. 12-11, Brooklyn leads it now. Again, with 34.3 left, we see a battle for the loose ball here. The Rock can't come up with it. Nice outlet. Fox cheating up the floor a little bit, finds Thompson coming off the bench, and he just found enough room there to beat, to beat Aiden Walsh. We'll see what Oakville does here because Bo Columbus has pretty well won every faceoff here tonight. They're on him quickly and Brooklyn calls timeout right away. And we'll see what they draw up here with the final 31.5. Wouldn't be surprised if Oakville puts the goaltender on the bench here. Oakville needs the ball. 31.5 left. <laughs> Matt Sawyer. Sending orders at his troops. Aiden Walsh is going to be in goal. Wants everybody to lock on their man right away, and it looks like they've all done so. Adam J will be assigned to the ball carrier, Nick Tchaikowski. J looked like he wanted to wind that up. Catches Tchaikowski behind the net, but now he gets the freedom. Now, J falls, and Tchaikowski's got that breathing room now. Jaykowski, he's got enough time and space to run this one out. We're gonna have to be sharp here with the game clock and the shot clock. There'll be 3.5 seconds left for Oakville. And they'll quickly move ahead. Dunkley's got it, moves it ahead, but it's picked off there by Brad Lyons. And yet another heartbreaker here for the Oakville Rock as they fall by a score of 12-11 here on a last minute goal by Ty Thompson to seal the victory for Brooklyn as they end up seven and one here at the MSL Classic and the Oakville Rock fall to two and six with their sixth consecutive loss. But yet another valiant effort by the Oakville Rock that just came up a goal short here. The Oakville Rock, their record may not Looked too pretty at the end of all this, but this team battled hard. A lot of guys got an opportunity to show themselves, and a lot of these guys showed very well here at the MSL Classic 2021. Big thank you to the JBI Sports Network and everybody on the crew for bringing you all the sound and pictures here this month from the Toronto Rock Athletic Center. A big thank you to Jamie Dowick and the Toronto Rock Athletic Center. Without this building, this doesn't happen. So a big thank you to Jamie Dowick and everybody at the track. And that'll about do it. Thank you fans for watching all month long here on the JVI Sports Network. Again, the final here, the 
Brooklyn Lacrosse Club 12, the Oakville Rock 11 as the MSL Classic 2021 comes to an end. I'm Mike Hancock saying in the meantime and in between time, we'll chat soon.